Hi, and welcome to Gadget Show Web TV. Right, with another tech-filled week upon us, here's John with a first look. New tablets are everywhere these days, and here's a new Android one, the HTC Flyer. It's got a 7-inch screen. Uh, it's quite well designed with its uh, aluminium chassis and plastic bumpers. It feels good to hold. Unlike most new Android tablets, though, it's not using the version of Android specifically designed for tablets 3 or Honeycomb. Instead, it's using Gingerbread 2.3, the one that's normally used on smartphones. So you get a sort of smartphone tablet experience. It's not a bad one though, the thing feels quite brisk with its 1.5 GHz single core processor and there's a very good 1024 by 600 resolution screen. It's a good screen with excellent touch sensitivity but you also get this rather intriguing pen in the box. Touch an icon with the pen at the bottom right of the screen and you can uh, take a snapshot of anything that's on the tablet screen and annotate it with your own scribbles. Tap again, you can uh, choose the uh, nib size or the type of marks you're making, alter the colour and so on. There are even buttons on the pen itself, one's an eraser so you can rub out your marks or a highlighter so you can highlight text. All very intriguing. Sometimes there seems a bit of a delay for your uh, input to actually register on the screen and it's not that precise but I can certainly see situations where it could be useful. There's a front-facing camera and a 5 megapixel rear-facing camera and HTC have included a few of their more interesting new applications like HTC Watch which allows you to rent or buy movies to download and uh, their reader app which allows you to uh, buy books. I think most people buying a new tablet would prefer the Android 3 interface to this smartphone like 2.3 one and that's going to limit the flyer's appeal. What's going to limit it even more though is the price, especially if you go for the version with 3G and Wi-Fi, it is very expensive and that's going to limit the impact the flyer's going to have on the tablet market.